Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And today we are in Proverbs 18, 22 through 24. Tyler? He who finds a good wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer to than a brother. All right. Does yours say whoever finds a good wife? He who finds a wife finds a good thing. Okay. When you play it back, you said he who finds a good wife finds a good thing. So I was wondering. Now, you say, oh, no, no, it's whoever finds a good wife. Okay, finding a wife isn't the problem. Okay? Finding a wife that is the virtuous woman of Proverbs, that's when you find a good thing. Okay? Don't, don't, don't go... Hey, I went out and I found this chick and I asked her to marry me and she said, I do, I will, baby. What's your name? And then I told her my name and we got a marriage date in two days. We're going we're gonna to go when the justice of peace opens up on Monday. We're getting married. Uh, Methuselah, have you thought this through? Yep, because the Lord says whoever finds wife finds a good thing. I found her. Um, do you know anything about her? Well, I mean, she's had, you know, she, she broke off 14 other engagements when she said yes to me. So I know she means it with me. Uh, maybe it should take six months. Get to know her. No, the Lord said if I find a wife, I found her. Okay. Yeah, no, that's not what the Lord's talking about. The, the wife, it's the virtuous woman, the woman of wisdom that's in Proverbs. That's the good thing that you find. That's what you need to be searching for. Okay. I'm going to sound sexist now. Tyler's going, oh man. Yeah, I'm not going to talk in this video. I'm going to sound sexist now, but that's all right. Women are the quickest way to make or break a man of anything on the planet. Virtuous wife, the wife of wisdom. Husbands will move heaven and earth for them. The wife that's like the continual dripping of rain. The wife that's a contentious woman that her husband rather live on the corner of the roof on, you know. During a hurricane. During a hurricane, yeah. Right? He said, don't blame it on the women. I'm not. I'm just telling you. The person who generally has the most influence with their husband is the wife. And if the wife is not the virtuous woman of Proverbs... And this thing can go so sideways. You say, well, bad husband. I'm not denying that either. So you better make sure, women, that you find the righteous man of Proverbs and men that you find the virtuous woman of Proverbs. And that's your path forward. Okay. Uh, any thoughts on that one, Tyler? That wasn't that sexist, though. Well, I know, but, you know, once you say women have influence and their okay. husband's failure is partly their fault, then people get upset. Yeah. You know? The poor use entreaties, but the rich answer roughly. Yeah. Because the poor ain't got nothing to do but beg. And the rich, if they've got the power and everything else, they can be kind of abusive, because why? The poor can't do anything to them because they got nothing to do it back with. Okay. Verse 24, I like how the NIV, uh, not the NIV, but the New Revised reads, Some friends play at friendship, but a true friend sticks closer than one's nearest kin or closer than one's brother. This goes back to what we said uh, a couple days ago about the ally offended or the brother offended, a friend offended is stronger than the city. This is what we were talking about. Some people, friendship is a game. Other people... If we're brothers, we're brothers. 
Someone asked me about my friends. I said, in my life, I have a very, very small number of friends. There are only a handful of people I've ever called friend in my life. Why? Now, all my friends are also my brothers in Christ, but not all my brothers in Christ are my friends. I'll, always, I'll do what's right by you as my brother in Christ. That's, that's, that's an non-issue, okay? Because that's Jesus. But a friend... You're a friend, and you're also my brother? Yeah, no, there's nothing I won't do to help you. I'll go above and beyond. I'll go past what any reasonable expectation is of generic Christian duty. Why? Because you're my friend. That's why when Jesus says, greater love has no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. Jesus says, you are my friends. I wonder if they didn't think about this. It's just, I always wonder that. Well, I, I don't always wonder it, but when I think about this and I think about that verse, then I wonder about it at those times. Some other thoughts on this? No, sir. All right, with that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We'll see you back at lunchtime, Lord willing.